To see the plays as merely um, drama, as merely plays to be read, uh, is to miss some of the most important elements of those plays. Um, for example, um, Shakespeare is able to embody uh, not only um, cues for performance, but stagecraft and stage business, and sometimes even stage effects are written into the drama. And so you miss so much if you just think about it as literature. Um, he was a playwright as well as a poet, obviously, um, and uh, he provides brilliant cues for, for his actors inside the text. Uh, so for example, um, if you take Act 3, Scene 4 of Hamlet, when Hamlet bursts into his mother's closet after the play within a play, uh, and she's, uh, he's just uh, accidentally murdered Polonius, who's standing behind the heiress spying, um, he says to her, uh, leave ringing of your hands, uh, peace sit you down, and let me wring your heart. Uh, and what's really interesting about that is not only is Shakespeare telling us something about the emotional intensity of the scene, but he's also giving cues to the actor playing Gertrude. At that moment, Gertrude knows to ring, or the actor playing Gertrude knows to ring his or her hands. Um, and that gesture is so full of meaning. It is a gesture of fear, of anxiety. And so what you get is Shakespeare's actors sort of passionating, which was the word for acting in Shakespeare's time, uh, not just performing the play. These plays were written in the time for a variety of performance spaces. Um, Shakespeare was writing for outdoor amphitheaters like the Globe. Uh, he was also writing for indoor uh, playhouses like the Blackfriars, uh, for inns of court, for halls and palaces, uh, country houses. And so um, the plays have a kind of inherent transportability. They can move from place to place. And it's probably why they're so successful in performance now, because they can be performed anywhere. Um, but what's interesting is that when you put Shakespeare's plays back into a playhouse, like a reconstructed globe or a playhouse that sort of approximates an indoor theater of the time, you can see the playhouse still in the, in the drama, in the plays, in the writing. To see Shakespeare's plays firsthand, to see how he's able to craft stories, use storytelling, special effects, provide cues for his actors, all in, in the poetry, woven into the poetry, is really to understand the magnitude of Shakespeare and his influence on performance subsequently, um, which is why we're celebrating Shakespeare's 400th anniversary now, largely through performance and through different stagings and adaptations and retellings.